Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how we can draw this piece in AutoCAD 3D. We will start today with this section because we will draw our piece in the fastest way possible. So stay close. We will start with four lines. So a line of 60, then we go in this left side with 90 units, then we'll go up with 98 because here we have 60 plus 20 plus 18, then we'll go in the right side with 35 units. So let's get started. Now let's go in the 3D space, so press the home button and we want to draw in this plan, in the YZ plan. So in order to do that, we'll go here at the left plan and we will change into UCS and now right view. And here it is, now we have X, Y axis, now we are able to draw. Let's start with the line. So let's start, why not, from the origin. So we'll write line and now write 0, 0. Let's activate the ortho command and write 60 zoom out now we'll go in this side with 90 units we'll go up with 98 and we'll go in the right side with 35 okay now you see we will construct now two circles so let's have a look again we have here a circle with a radius of 18 because it is faster to draw this circle instead of doing this radius with the fillet command and inside of it from the same center we have another circle with a diameter of 20 units so let's get back right circle draw from a random point and write 18. Now let's move this circle, so select it, move and pick the quadrant until here. If you cannot find these points, it is very simple, just write these settings and it will appear a window full of options. In our case, we need tangent, we need center, we need midpoint, endpoint and so on. So just pick the points that you actually need and then press OK. Let's construct now a line starting from the origin, so 0, 0 shift right click tangent until you pick the circle up okay inside of this circle we need to construct another one so right circle find this point the center point d from diameter 20 units use the trim command now you can delete the circle as well and let's go with the 3d space again so press the home icon we need here an extrusion with 75 units but let's get back so write a press pull command in this direction with 75 units. Now let's change the region. So let's flip the drawing. Let's go here, write UCS, pick up this point, this end point. This Y, it will be the X and up in the air, it will be the Y. Okay, now we are able to draw it correctly. Now we will draw these two rectangles. So the first one has the dimensions 35 and 40 and the other one 45 and 38. You see 20 plus 18. Rectangle command to draw this rectangle. The first dimension it will be 40 and the other one 35. Now let's move our rectangle, move command, pick up the midpoint and put it here in the midpoint as well. If you cannot find it, shift, right click midpoint here it is the same thing we'll do also here so right again rectangle pick up a random point 45 tab 38 units select it move it in the middle pick up the midpoint let's have a look okay we need to move it back so move command with 35 units. Now let's change the view style to be even more clear. Shady with edges, okay, and now use the press pull command. And the same thing here. Our UCS, it is still fine for our work, so let's get back in the top plan and let's construct the following element. So we need to draw here two circles, so a circle with a diameter of 12 and a radius of 12. But because our UCS, it is here in this point, we will help with it. So our first circle, let's say it will be the one with the radius of 12. It will be here on a distance on 15 on the X, you see, and a distance of 60 from the Y. So right circle, 15, tab, 60, and now right radius, 12. Inside of it, we will construct another circle. So right circle, pick up the center, OK, D from diameter, 12. Deactivate the ortho command, line, starting from the center, 0, 0, shift, right click, tangent. Construct another line, so line, activate the ortho command, 
from this quadrant point until you reach the perpendicular point. Let's use now the trim command. Select this drawing, trim, and delete this circle. Flip the drawing again, use the press pull with 15 units. In order to copy it in the other side, let's use the mirror command. So mirror, and here it will be the mirroring line. Erase our subject, no. And for the final step here, we need to draw another circle. Let's have a look. Our circle has a diameter of 25 units and it will be on a distance from this point because our origin will put it here. It will be on a distance of 22.5 units from the X and from the Y, just 15. So use yes, we'll place it here. You must find the endpoint. Shift right click endpoint. Okay, here it will be the X and here the Y. Let's go with the top plan. Let's construct a circle. So circle 22.5 tab 15. D from diameter 25. Here it is. Now let's use the press pool again and go down and here it is. For a final step, let's apply the union command to have one single solid, not three. So union, select the entire drawing, press enter. Now we have one single solid. Move it and delete all the 2D sketches. And here it is. Our drawing now, it's complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.